friends, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome back to my channel. So last week we were working on this baby blanket that had um, the circle edging. And so go back and watch that video for the body pattern um, and how to do the circle edging. But today I wanted to show you two alternate edgings Theo wants to play. And so I'm working on the um, a butterfly edging and a heart shaped edging edging. So if the cats will let me, here is the heart shaped edging. So you can see here, this one I'm tapping with my thumb is the circle edging. And so I've been, and I will continue and finish the blanket in that circle edging. But then I thought, oh, it would be really cute to have a heart shaped edging too. So I wanna teach you that and then I'll unravel it and we will look at the butterfly edging for this pattern. So I'm going to unravel, we're gonna unravel slowly so that, um, because I did not write it down. <laughs> so we'll see if I can remember. But we will, if we go backwards, we're going to end with a slip stitch in the bottom of the heart. So we will, uh, it was slip stitch to join at the point. So we had a single crochet and a, then I'm pulling out a half double crochet and here comes muffin. And then there was a double crochet and a treble. So we're doing graduated stitches. There's a chain two, there's a slip stitch, there's a chain two, there's a treble, a double, a half double, and a single crochet. Okay, so um, we are going to then pull back. There's a slip stitch there and a chain. Okay, so at the end of our row of our regular pattern, and this works for any row pattern, you can place this edging along. So I'm going to chain two, one, two, and turn your project and you're going to work the heart now. So I'm dangling it off the edge of any blanket, any row blanket. Is Do I need to come down a little closer? Okay, so I've got chain two. In the second chain from the hook, I'm going to single crochet, and all of the stitches are going to be worked in that same spot. So now we're going to half double. Now we're going to double. Now we're going to double uh, treble crochet right there, and we're gonna stop there. That was a two yarn overs. Now I'm going to chain two, slip stitch in that same spot. So we're doing that little um, cr uh, crevice or crack or whatever you wanna call it in the top of the heart. And Theo is grabbing my yarn. I've got both Theo and Muffin up here stalking today. Okay, so back to where we were. So I chained two, chained two and slip stitched in that same spot. I'm going to chain two again to work up to the height of the other side. So now we're at a treble. Now we're going to work down with a double, work down with a half double and work a single all in the same spot. Everything went in the same spot. Now I will slip stitch in the very first single crochet. So it does make a circle in that it goes around, but now we have a heart shape, okay? And then to attach it, I'm not gonna anchor it the way I did with the circles, if um, you remember that video from last week. Instead, I'm going to just chain one and pretend it doesn't, it's not even there, and just work the pattern um, that you would, and like I said, you could put this on any blanket, but you would just then resume the pattern um, for your rows. Okay, and then let's look at this heart. And then we'll take it out and show you, show you the, um, so here's the heart. So probably you will have a rufflier, <laughs> a rufflier edging um, to make it like lay flat. Like these are floppy and I like it that way. So this might get a little twisty, but I think the texture is fun. So that's the heart shaped edging. So if you can imagine just hearts all the way down instead of circles, or you can do um, 
you can alternate circles and hearts if you want, just like you were doing X's and O's. It would be hearts and O's. <laughs> hearts and hugs edging, okay? So that is the heart-shaped edging. And now if we were to do the butterfly edging, it's very similar. So as you are finishing your row on your blanket, whatever, or scarf or whatever you're making in rows, uh, and pulling it out a few times gets it a little stuck. Okay, so as I'm finishing the row with my double crochet, but it can work for any stitch, then I'm going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And in the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna place two double crochets, one, two. I'm going to chain two, one, two, slip stitch in that spot. So it's kind of like a heart, only smaller. Chain one, two, then I'm going to place two double crochets, again, in the same spot. Okay, Muff, you're grabbing my yarn, sweetheart. Finish that double crochet, add another double crochet, chain two and slip stitch again. So it's very, I, I, I don't, don't bite it, don't tear it, oh goodness. So we're going to slip stitch in the bottom of that very first. Okay, Muffin doesn't like to just grab the yarn. She likes to tear the yarn. So that's why I'm a little, ow, kitty, you got me with your claws there, sweetheart. That's uh, why we have to be careful around Muff Muff. She is still a baby. Okay, and then you would go ahead and chain one and then work on your row. Okay, so here's what the tiny uh, butterfly or tiny heart. So it's a little less pointy. It's more of a bow, like a bow tie almost right here. So that's the edging that you would have instead of the heart or instead of the circle. And so this one's really cute too. So that gives you two more edgings. And as you can see, I've transitioned from the peach to the white and I'm gonna go gray next. So it's kind of like a modified Neapolitan uh, color scheme. And this is, um, so go check out the other, the first video with the circle edging for all the specs on like how many stitches to make in the foundation row. Um, the yarns, don't forget, you can get by clicking in the description below this video. There's um, a link to Love Crafts, and I bought these yarns on sale as of the, the uh, time of that other video. And then also Knit Picks has some really beautiful yarns that I'm going to be working with soon. Um, so what else? So real quickly before we go, I hope you're having a relaxable and valuable use of your time. And speaking of a relaxing especially use of your time. I've got two new videos that are coming up that are relaxation specific. So um, I'm gonna unravel this because I want to continue and finish the blanket with the circles before I start something new with the other alternate edgings. Two new videos that are coming up. One of them is going to be a daytime relaxation video which means um, I it, the whole purpose is a relaxing break for you. So it's gonna be giving your, your brain a break from thinking too hard, and the whole purpose would be anytime that you need a relaxation and zone out break, you can take a 10 or 15 minute video um, and just let your mind go. Um, then the other video is going to be closer to an hour long where I am going to crochet something very boring with a very soothing tone of voice and I am going to just do a little monologue, a nice boring monologue so that you can fall asleep to the video. And that video um, you can put on a loop if you want, by um, on your PC, you would right click on the video and you can choose the option to loop the video. And then on an iPhone, um, on the video in the upper right hand corner is three little dots. You can click on those three little dots on your iPhone if you're watching YouTube on there and you can choose loop. That way, if you are still awake at the end of the video, you can... Um, It'll just replay and replay, and you don't have to feel anxious 
about the fact that I have completed the video, but you're still awake. So that video is uh, for my friends out there who are having difficulty falling asleep. And then hopefully you would be falling asleep by the time the video ends. And if you don't, it's no worry, but the video will just continue to play and I'll use a nice boring tone of voice and some relaxation techniques so that you can hopefully fall asleep to crochet because sometimes it can be boring to watch people crochet. And so why not capitalize on that? Um, and so of course, for the re short relaxation video during the day and also the um, help me fall asleep video, um, don't be driving while you play those videos. And of course you can um, turn off uh, or to flip your screen down and just listen instead. And also if you leave the um, screen up while you're listening, um, I would say turn your brightness as down low as comfortable so that you are not um, kept awake um, by the brightness. But that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you like the idea of the daytime relaxation video and the help me fall asleep video, um, please let me know in the comments below. And so those will be up on the to-do list soon. And so Muffin is about had it with me not letting her play with my yarn. So I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye. Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley, and thank you so much for spending time with me on my channel. Um, I hope you've had a relaxing and valuable use of your time. So if you liked this video, here's another one that's similar that you might also enjoy. And here is the video, the last video that was up uploaded in case you missed it. Everyone, please like and subscribe <laughs> for more videos. They're usually posted on Wednesday or Thursday at the worst. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Say goodbye, Muffin.